this so we are making till this shoulder that's it now so we have got everything the outline figure we have got it so now let us make the eyes sharp so for this what we are going to do we are going to draw this curve line a little bit dark and make everything dark so that we can erase all the rough lines next now this is what we are going to fair it down okay whatever the adjustments are there everything can be done here this way and now start from the same give a double line over here okay so see this I'm giving equal space everywhere do it very carefully and whatever the space you are giving here the same space should be continued over here on this way and the semicircle also should be the same way see the curve and here also the same way see that it has equal space on all the sides on all the sides okay and now this side I'm going to fair so in this way if at all you have any doubt pause at every step and just go back look at this and do it so that you'll not make any mistakes see the distance I'm giving here do it very slowly every art needs time however how much time you give it uh, it turns to be so perfect and it turns to be so beautiful and the final stage when you're working the rough work it may not look that good but once the work is done completely it looks awesome so this is the one I have done and give this we don't want this sharp edges okay so pointed edges we'll just make them curve here also we'll make them curve in this way here it can be the cursed or pointed edge but here we'll just make it soft and now we'll be shading this part in medium tone you remember the light medium dark tones right so we'll be doing it medium and we'll be doing everything in slanting direction see this slanting okay start from here see that there are no spaces and do it very uh, like medium tone not light it's in medium tone okay I'm working with 11B pencil, 11B Apsara pencil. So this is very dark. So try to manage that in very light, uh, light tone so that you get medium light tone. Again, you have uh, in medium tones also you have dark, medium, light and very light. Okay. So try to work with that. Every tone has again light, medium, dark. Light has very, very light, very light and light and medium also has medium light medium and little bit dark so we have done this part and now do this part also in slanting line and just try to cover the total thing See that you'll not have any white spaces just fill it with the shade of medium tone okay we have done this we have covered this part we have done this now let us make half of this line into dark and blend this into this medium okay and here also I'll take till here into uh, until here I'll take it dark and we will just blend it so just get another tone of medium here and just slightly increase when you're coming towards this part we are not using any blending tool over here we are just blending everything with the pencil itself in between enjoy the music so till here I bought this dark dark tone and here I'm going to blend this on this medium blend in such a way that you shouldn't know where the dark tone uh, starts and where it ends so the blending should be in that uh, beautiful way this way and now this part if at all you're not getting the dark tone in first attempt go for the third attempt
you layer wise then you get it perfectly i told you before also this right like those who are following my sketching videos or shading videos they know about this so just go another give another tone another set of uh, another layer just give another layer and keep on working this okay and just blend this and this way now i want to show that as of the light is coming from my left hand side on this way you can see this so when the light is coming this way this part will be bright and some area on this part say about this part this area that will be a little bit even more dark than this part so i just want to show that now so on this way and even the neck part so until here we'll have this shadow this and there will be some bright spot at this point this point there will be some bright point so just let us give the first layer of shading or first layer of shading over here so that next we can continue the rest of the things see that shading also is done in very light manner you can i'm taking my 6b uh, you all can take your 4b or let me also take 4b and do it and see i don't have any pointed uh, a point uh, this is very blunt so i'm just doing with the blunt whenever you are doing shading see that the point is not very pointy it has blunt edges so that the shading comes perfect and see that you are doing it in slanting direction okay in this way and see that there are no gaps whenever you are shading it and don't do at a time from here if at all you can do this this is well and good but you are not comfortable do in small portions and then cover each and every part with the shading on this way see the way i'm holding my pencil i'm holding it fast so that i get very light tone hold the pencil in such a way hold it far almost i have hold it five uh, four in four fingers away and i'm doing the shading part and before practice doing shading on this final work just practice your shading on the rough page just in this way so that you can get it you can get the perfect tone and see the way, uh, see what tone how uh, what pencil you are using and what is the tone you are getting okay this is my 4b and i'm doing it in very light tone I'm even shading the eye of this part, just with the same tone. Yeah. Before this, I forgot to tell you. First, erase all the lines, all the uh, rough lines, whatever we have made. This line, these lines. whatever guidelines you have made just erase all of them double lines even erase all those and just touch them okay now whenever we are doing shading just see that our hand is not touching the paper so that all the marks the paper please the paper may become messy so just do this this is again 4b yeah I'm doing for me. I'm taking. I'm just doing the shading part wherever it is gone. So this is done. Now what we'll do? We'll take a very sharp pencil and make the outline of this uh, Spiderman. So whatever we have, just keep a paper so that all the uh, whatever the graphite is there that will not touch our hand. and just keep on drawing this make it dark make it dark so 
this point and this point will make the face a little bit round this way and we not have this pointed edge over here and give it curve Let us continue this. Now see here we have these guidelines. We are going to draw lines uh, one above and one below of this or we can make yeah, one above and one below of this or we can even make this line because we don't have much space over here. We'll make this line as this and this is our center line. What we, oh, we have erased this. Don't erase the center line. Okay. Don't erase the center line. We need the center line. Okay. If it all you have erased, please make it. I'm sorry for this. Don't erase the center line. Okay, now we'll be drawing C. One more inner line giving equal space in this way. And take this here and this and this way. So you're going to get a box. Okay, here also the same way. We are going to draw one. This is our reference line. This we have our reference line. We are going, we are taking a little bit, maybe half, not even half inch, half uh, half centimeter. We are taking. So the total part is done now. Now we need to darken this all the middle points. For this, I'm taking again 10B and I'm just making the center part dark on this way. So we have done almost the uh, dark part covering this. And this way so until this it is done now they just take 4b pencil and we'll do all the shading but we, uh, as i said we are uh, we want the light to be focused on this side so this area will be a little bit lighter and the other areas that will be darker so just shade all this so give a very light shading over here in slanting direction and see that there are no spaces okay and this way work on each box and then extend on the other one so that that will be easy for you all to shade it perfectly don't be in a hurry to shade everything 
work very slowly and everything in slanting direction. See that I'm working everything in slanting direction. Everything should be in one direction. Don't uh, change the direction when you're shading the when you're giving shading. And see that there are no spaces when we are shading it. Okay, so that gives a perfect look. And we have we thought this area should be a little bit darker. So we'll again shade on this area so that it becomes a little bit darker because we are giving the second layer. It automatically becomes darker. This area. As we are giving the second layer, this area will be a little bit more dark. Here we are giving the first layer, so it will be the same as the above. All this. I'm telling again and again, do it a little bit slow because uh, I'm a little habituated. I'm doing it fast, but when if at all you are doing for the first time, do it a little bit slow and see that the area is covered very neatly with the shading part. Okay, and here also it is light. And from here, this is going to increase. The dark shade is going to be increased because here we are giving the second layer. And now here we'll be giving in the first layer, very light. And see that you're giving everything in curves. This area is in this way, curve. Okay, so give this also in curves. Or work on each box in the same direction. I'm telling you all again and again, you need to work only in one direction. The total shading should be in one direction. Okay, please keep this point in mind. Otherwise, whatever we are uh, working on, that will become a mess and that doesn't look that great. So the total shading part is done. We can, we can see the darkness over here, this part and all. And under the neck, we will give even more dark this way. But first, let us complete the eye shade and then come to the uh, neck part. Okay, let us start this eye part. For this eye part, 